Wow, what a great sight. Love seeing the sun come up over the ocean. Well, good morning, happy Tuesday. This is Rich Auerbach and welcome to my channel. So today we have a little offbeat comedian uh, slash magician by the name of Mike Polio. And he'll explain that in his little bit here. Uh, his whole act is about 30 minutes long. Uh, he's uh, a little quirky. Uh, I had a, an art teacher uh, and I went back to school and her term was interesting. If it wasn't great. It was, she didn't say anything was bad or, or not good, but it was interesting. Uh, I'm going to use quirky. I found uh, Mike a little quirky. So if I give him a watch, it's, it, it's, a, it's not a long 30 minutes. Give it a shot. So Mike, take it away. Get this out of the way really quickly, because uh, a lot of people think I made up this name, uh, like some kind of little cute comedian's joke, Marty Polio. And, uh, you know... <laughs> Actually, my real name's Marty Infantile Paralysis, so... Uh, I had to shorten it. Uh, I've been Marty a few times on, uh, on sitcoms. Like on TV, when you get TV roles, they always give comedians their same name. You know, like it's going to really throw us if somebody calls us a different name. We're going to hold up production, get confused. You know, they, they give dogs a different names. At the end of the sitcoms, you see the credit scrolls where it says, and buff the dog as Scud, you know, but... <laughs> and then Polio is Italian. Um, any Italians here? Yeah. All right. Okay. I know how to get the crowd going. That's one of the tools of the trade. Get the crowd making a little noise. I am good at that. Watch. Uh, hey, <clears throat> yeah, clap if you've um, uh, ever been uh, uh, convicted of shoplifting in Saudi Arabia. Clap if you... Uh, huh? All right. Oh, sorry. Guess you wouldn't have hands. It was, you know, I don't know, something like that. I don't know. It's like, yeah. yeah, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> then I had one of these Facebook friends that I don't know uh, my Facebook friends. I don't know if you know yours, but uh, I don't know mine. <laughs> And this guy, he felt compelled to write on his wall that he was contemplating suicide. And I thought, wow, that's intense. That's the wrong place to do something like that. A social networking site where people's only reactions can be to ignore it or to like it, you know, so. <laughs> so I liked it. I uh, <laughs> thought maybe getting ignored is what got him down, you know. Printed material, good source of inspiration right there, printed material. I saw one of those uh, motivational calendars in Kinko's, and it said uh, right on the front cover, nothing is ever gained without some risk, so I stole it. <laughs> uh, I raised my kid, he's 21 now, I kicked him out when he was 19, he's out on his own. It's the only way he was going to get out, you know, I had to do it. Um, and it was the best thing uh, for him. He was. He was uh, one of those defiant kids, and uh, oh, he drove me crazy. I, I had gray hairs going off like fireworks from this kid, and uh, yeah, it, it was horrible. But um, but anyway, now you know he has his own thing going. He wants to be a rapper, which I don't know anything about it. You know, I guess you rap about what you know. I'm sure he's going to rap about being coddled and loved too much by his parents and driven to play dates. <laughs> getting participation trophies. You know, I guess that's what he's going to rap about. <laughs> but like I said, I don't really know much about rap. He's taught me some things. Um, but, um, but yeah, I said, look, I, you know, I don't discourage it because I, it was unlikely I would do what I did. And so I just, you know, said, look, I don't, I don't know anybody in that world. I don't have any contacts. I can't help you. But uh, good luck, white boy. <laughs> 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 but... Um, <clears throat> 
I didn't want to do that. And it didn't work out with his mom. Uh, I, you know, we had a lot in common and stuff, but she started, I don't know, disliking me when she had him, while she was having him, I noticed things were changing. Uh, <laughs> I was in the birthing room, you know, and I don't know why, I really, I don't know if she really even wanted me around during conception, but. Uh, <laughs> But, um, yeah, women go through so much with this childbirth thing. That's bad enough, but even being pregnant, that's just weird. You have somebody living inside of you? I don't even like anybody in my apartment. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Grew up on junk food, never stopped eating it. And then I hear all these dumb stories from the health nags about the junk food, like, makes your hair fall out, you know, stupid stuff, you know. So. <laughs> I got a lot of clear hair up here. <laughs> a lot of shiny pink hair. Um, I don't care about being bald. I've gone through all the stages, you know. In the beginning, it's traumatic, and you know, you look in the mirror that one day and you go, well, it's part of life. Worse things can happen to me than this. And all of a sudden, you find yourself pulling the fur out of your cat. I'm be the only one in this household. <laughs> Calico, yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Had a great time. Thank you very much. Well, I hope you enjoyed, Mike. As I said these are just little excerpts. Uh, his whole act, his link is down below. And uh, it's 30 minutes. Uh, give it a shot. I think you might enjoy it. Uh, today, I had two things. Uh, he talked about uh, birthing. And I'll get into a little story about that but I want to touch base real quickly here because I've been watching the news on Ukraine and I, I put this tattoo on on the 75th anniversary of Auschwitz and I hope we're not seeing something like that again in Ukraine uh, it really bothers me but now to a, a lighter side uh, I come from a generation when a mother went into labor, she went into a room, and the father went into another room. It was called the father's waiting room. Uh, didn't have any of this uh, father, you know, holding hands, you know, breathe, take a breath, you know, breathe, push, push, push. None of that. Uh, they didn't have Lamaze classes when my kids were born. Uh, nothing. And I'll tell you the truth, I'm very, very grateful. Uh, not that I'm a coward, I, at least I hope I'm not. Uh, but I don't think I could have handled uh, watching my wife give birth. So I'm very happy that in my generation, it was dad's waiting room, get the cigars ready. So I uh, hope you enjoyed today's show, enjoy Mike. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye and take a look at this. This is now a sunset, and I'm going to say uh, see you next week.